Hello there, and welcome to this CS Watch Video uh, 021, where we're going to be looking at input and input devices. So, as you can probably tell, out today we're looking at input and input devices. So, if we make sure we're happy with what input is, input is a way of inputting data into a computer for processing. That's the easiest way to remember it. Anytime you type on something, click on something, I'm giving input at the moment verbally through the microphone to the computer. It's input. It's me putting data into a system in some way, shape, or form. If you took away all the input devices that you've got, if you took away your keyboard, your mouse, your microphone, your touchscreen, you wouldn't be able to interact with the computer system. It would just sit there not being able to do anything because there's no input going into it. And input devices come in different shapes and different forms. So here we've got a collection of images that I've stolen straight off of Google Images. If these are your images, thank you very much. You're a nice person for taking them. So here we've got different things. We've got um, a graphics uh, stylus in the top left-hand corner. We've got a microphone. We've got a mouse. We've got a scanner. We've got a joystick. We've got a keyboard. All these pieces of hardware can be used to give the uh, computer information. It can be used to sending data. So, for example, the microphone, uh, I can speak into it as I'm speaking into it now. And what happens when it gets into the computer, it converts that into um, binary and then it can then be stored and processed. More on that on a future video. Trust me on that. It's a good one. Uh, mouse can be used for moving the uh, icon around, left click, right click, scroll wheel. Um, keyboard, you can type with it, obviously. You can use different shortcuts. It's used is one of the primary ways for inputting into a computer. Scanners aren't used so much these days. Um, back when I was a child, that makes me sound really, really old, um, it was used for taking a piece of paper and then um, taking a, making a copy of it, being able to be used on a computer. So, for example, some people scanned in certificates they um, were given, so then they got a permanent copy of them. Other people would have scanned in holiday photos, so then they could have shared with them via the early days of email. So, We've got here uh, a nice exam question for you. State what is meant by the term input, and it's worth one mark. So feel free uh, to give the video a quick pause, and then give the video an answer. Give your video an attempt. And now let's look at some answers. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Feel free to leave any comments below, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.